What's going on guys, it's T Blake here, and today this video is coming to you right before the start of Labor Day weekend. So before anything, I hope you guys have something fun planned, I hope you're doing something exciting. Uh, but the point of this video is about today's release. We had the Jordan 1 band release, the 2016 version, and it really, really does feel like it was so soon after the 2013 release. I know it's been three years, but man, they literally put back out the same sneaker. Now, the one thing that no one's talking about and is also the thing that everyone's talking about, which I guess is a little ironic, which is that the 2016 breads have great remastered quality. But if you'll remember, the 2013 breads were supposed to be the things that were ushering in the remastered quality, so we all got played, although retail was still 160. I was not able to buy a size 12 for myself. I'm hoping I can find one or they restock or someone will sell me one. Hey, I'll pay resale. So if you have a pair, just let me know. I'm trying to pay like 240 or something. Nothing crazy. Uh, but I did get a pair for my girlfriend. Now the thing that's great about these is that she loves them a lot. Not really. <laughs> and I totally didn't just buy them because I wanted something to review. Now you will notice though that the grade school size, this is a size 6 youth, they don't have that remastered tumble leather, so even more uh, playing yourself going on. The other thing I realized is this is the first time I tried to buy sneakers online for a while, and the process is just fucking brutal. It's like, yes, you can get in the wait line process, but then Nike decides to do a draw. Now it's like I'm entering a raffle against a million people for I don't know how many pairs there are, that I'm waiting till 12 to see if I got the pair or not while well, I'm trying to buy another pair then I get an email and I lost I'm sure that's the same for a lot of you out there the good news is that they allocated a lot of pairs to stores or that's at least what it seems like as many of you guys on Twitter said you're successful with your local raffles so I'm glad that Jordan brand made enough of these for most people to get them as for me this is a sneaker that's definitely needed for anyone's rotation or anyone that is a big fan of Jordan brand now that's just some light content as we move into Labor Day weekend like I said we have some videos up from earlier so we have the Adidas EQT Ultra Boost review at Concepts. You can get a pair. I believe there's still some sizes on their website. We also reviewed some of these Supreme accessories. So this is the Supreme Fortune Cookie review as well as the Soup Set if you want to check out that video. And I will do an updated pickup video next week as I got some more stuff in. Uh, and perhaps the best thing going on right now is there is a huge extra 25% off sale Nike. Uh, it's on kicksundercost.com if you go to the homepage, but I will link it down below in the description for you. There are some huge, huge, huge deals, uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do another sale every month as they are hurting. Sophia, stop scratching the couch. Sorry guys, my cat was just scratching the couch, uh, but they are definitely hurting for numbers. Nike's performance has been down this year. Their stock's taking a tumble, and I'm sure that means that there's more opportunities to purchase sneakers and clothing under retail, so definitely check that out. If you're interested in saving money, if you're not, that's okay. We're gonna be ending this video, like I said in the beginning, I hope you have a great Labor Day weekend, and I really do mean that, uh, as it's you know rare to get a break. Sometimes it's nice just to spend time with friends and family, or the people that you love, whoever they may be. T-Blake signing out, I will catch you guys soon. Peace, guys.